Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Today I got a quick unboxing of the Arrows Hobby 50mm Avanti. This is coming from Hobby Zone. Hobby Zone has some of the nicest just hand launched 50mm 3 cell powered airplanes. We've done a bunch on the channel already, so I'll put those links in the upper right hand corner the BAA Hawk. Uh, the L39 and, and so on. So they've got a, real, a bunch of really nice ones. I want to get this out of the box quick today, show you what it looks like, and then get it out to the flying field. Looks like it has a really nice uh, paint job on it. There's only three parts to getting this thing together. Um, you can see right here, it's got a powerful uh, 4,500 kV motor, 50 millimeter 11 blade fan, looks like 30 amp ESC. Same power system that's in all the others that they have. Uh, 3 amp BEC hand launch, real nice uh, uh, grab rail uh, underneath. We'll take a look at that when we get it out of the box. And uh, let's see, nice trim scheme. Does have the vector gyro system, okay? And it's officially licensed by Sebart. So it does have its own flight stabilizer in it. And we'll take a look at that as we get this whole thing out of the box. Here's your specs on it. You can see uh, your wingspan of 25 inches there. Uh, you also got your uh, length there of 29 inches. Again, 4,500 kV motor, 30 FPSC, nine servos, guys. So it's aileron, elevator, throttle. And then the fourth channel is for being, being able to uh, to switch your stabilizer on and off and into different modes and stuff. So uh, there's our CG battery size. Battery size pretty much looks like this for all of these series of airplanes. So there's what your 1300, that's what a 22 looks like. I don't have an 1800, but an 1800 is right in the middle, three cell powered. So that's probably about what you need. Um, uh, 1800 is probably ideal, but you can go as big as 2200. Zap or phone tack, probably go with zap because that's all we need for the tail. And then all you need really is a, a screwdriver to put this thing together. So let's get this all out of the box, show it to you real quick, and then we're gonna get it out to the field. That's how it looks, folks, coming out of the box. It's real clean, just like all their other airplanes are. Very well manufactured, as you can see. Nice plastic grab rail for throwing. There's where your four screws go to put your uh, wing onto the fuselage. Your fuselage is down there and the horizontal is down in there somewhere. So I'm gonna pop this off. I did take a tiny look at it ahead of time, so I um, didn't look like a one-legged man in a butt kicking contest here. So I'll uh, show you all this. There's your wing. You can see how simple that is. I'm gonna put that down. Instruction manual right here. There's our nice fuselage just sitting right down in there. Let's pop this off of here. Let's get our horizontal stabilizer and elevator. Real nice, we'll pop that down. Normally, I'm not a big fan of the checkerboard patterns on these planes. Checkerboards, for some reason, don't blow my mind, but they used a little bit here and it accents it nicely. So that's just personal preference though. Um, and then there's your screws, that's it. They usually give you a spare. It looks like there are five screws, we only need four. So we'll put that box uh, to the side and uh, that's it, guys. There's your layout of your parts and everything. So it's a real simple, Real simple cakewalk assembly here. You can see where your wing goes on, your tail. This is it, just put some glue. And in fact, they've got our, looks like they've got this push rod covered and stuck on there. There it is. And then we're gonna glue this on. Thank the Lord, they did not put paint all over this darn surface. I hate it when they sometimes do that. And it looks like they did a nice, nice job. They left it bare foam. So all we're gonna do is take in our zap glue, because that's probably what you wanna use for this because it looks like it is a pretty darn tight fit in there. This is just gonna sort of slide on under there. It doesn't seem like it really wants to slide that well on in there, but let's see. We're gonna apply glue. Uh, you just gotta flex it a little bit. And then that's it. It's a really tight fit. Um, you could use foam tack on this, but I don't think, because foam tack tends to expand a little bit when you use too much of it and plus it's a tight fit. So I'm gonna vote for using uh, Zap uh, Medium CA, definitely Medium CA of some sort, you know, to get that on there. But look what a glove tight, nice fit and finish that is. In fact, I can't really even almost get it off because it's kind of stuck really in there. But that's really it, folks. You glue that on there, okay? It's that really simple of a thing. And then uh, your wing goes on. You run your wires through this little hole right here, right down in there. So we're gonna take these wires run those down into there and I might be able to just stick those right down into place. Let me see if I can pop those in place. I'm going to even do this without my urn stand. I'm usually using an urn stand all the time, which probably would have been helpful, but um, you can do this pretty much and pretty quick by hand. Look what a nice connection that is. That's it right there. So let me take some screws. I don't have to put them all in there just for time savings. In fact, I'll put this right back down. I'll grab these screws, pull it out of the bag. We're going to take two of them and just throw them right in there. In fact, I'll do a diagonal right here, one here, one down in there. 
and just taking a screwdriver, I'm just going to kind of zip zap those together. So that should feed in there nice. Let's see how it does on the fly. Yeah, beautiful. So it funnels right in there real nice. Of course, you do want to attach all four. Let's see if that seat's down in there. It looks like it's going in there nice. A nice seam. Check your seam. Check your gaps. Of course, make sure you're not pinching anything. Okay, we'll just get this in place real quick. And then once you get all four screws in, this thing's secure. So like I said, just to save time, I'm just going to do two. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Assembly is done. It's that quick. We are going to want to connect our clevises, of course, onto here. And uh, make sure everything's moving freely. Always check your uh, hinges here. Make sure everything's all free and clear. But uh, that's it, folks. It doesn't really get any easier and any better than that for a quick hand launch. Uh, sort of a, a assembly to a, to a nice little airplane. So um, looking on the inside here, we'll do a quick preview of everything here. Here's your cooling hole that comes in from the bottom. That's where all your air comes in, okay? Goes over your battery. Everything's very nicely labeled in here, as you can see. So you've got your uh, elevator, uh, your uh, ailerons, your throttle, and of course, this is your PPM uh, mode S bus. This is what you plug into your fourth channel, so you can switch your stabilization unit. Um, they do have Velcro down in here, of course, for your battery. See, that pops right off. So if you don't like Velcro, don't use it. But if you if you do, you got a piece of Velcro to stick to your battery. A uh, nice XT60 uh, connector, and then here's your stabilization system right here. There's your uh, your gyro basically. Make sure it's secure, okay? If it's flopping around, don't fly the plane. Make sure you're secure because if it's flopping around, your plane's going to be all over the place. Uh, so right from under here, folks, if you look way down in there, there's your wing wires. You bring those up, and I believe you probably attach them right to here. This is just for your aileron control. And, uh, and, and that's pretty much, much it, folks, for your uh, connections. You plug in your receiver on this, battery goes up there, and you're good to go. Canopy's nice. Looks like it's got a magnet in the back, tongue and groove design up front. Just very simple for a hand launch airplane. Um, and it looks nice. Fit and finish looks fantastic. It does have a little plastic nose cone on the front, so if you ding that in the ground. Also, it's got some skid plates under here. It looks like they put a little skid right there, plastic skid. This is your hand launch that works beautifully. Grab rail for that. And it has plastic on it too. And then they did a nice job on the tail. Plastic skid there as well. So skids are all over this thing. Here, here, here. And then of course, you got your ailerons under your wings, your servos, I mean. And then, uh, but they did put a nice fairing over that. Fairing slash skid plate. So you're not yanking on your horn when you belly land it in the grass. And you're not tearing up your servo gears. But, uh, but real nice. You can see your spar jig across here. Fit and finish is very nice. You can see how nice that is up close. Very nicely manufactured. Wing looks beautiful. Again, not too much checkerboard. I hate it when they go crazy with too much checkerboard, but they did that kind of just enough and put some nice long stripes to give it that kind of sleek look, sleek look to it all the way around. Looks like this stripe is painted. Looks like the red one is painted. It looks like the black one is actually a sticker. So same with these. And then your fan hatch cover, I don't know if that's, uh, you may have to cut that to pull that off. There's probably a little bit of glue. Oh, no, wait, hang on, it is magnets. Just like the BAE Hawk, folks, it's got magnets on it. And that magnet just tore off. You can see, I'm going to have to re-glue that in place. That does happen sometimes. But there's your 50 millimeter fan in there. So, yeah, I'll pop that magnet off, re-glue it onto this part, the, the fan hatch cover, and I'll pop that back on. So... Nice louvers for intake um, and your screws for your wings. Nice doublers. They put some plastic on there so you don't crush the, the thing all the way in there. Looking down the tailpipe there, I might have to put an afterburner in this. Uh, you can see your 64 millimeter fan motor, 4500 kV, and, uh, and real nice. Elevator looks tough. Nice paint job all the way around. Same with the vertical. Nice and clean. Uh, pretty much no scarring on this airplane. These little planes usually don't get a lot of box damage. so. Um, but that's pretty much it, folks. This is this is really sweet. I'm very impressed with how quickly that goes together. Again, I'm recommending for you guys using some uh, medium CA, preferably Zap. It's a little better than the others, I believe. And uh, and that's it for this. Now there are other planes in the series. You guys have seen. We did the BAE Hawk. Here it is, right here, 50 millimeter, same power setup, the whole deal. These are all also available over at. Um, at, uh, at Hobby Zone, folks. This is, this is their whole Arrows line. 
And then additionally, I also have the much beat up L39, which I will put a video out on shortly. We tumbled this, cartwheeled this all over. It flew beautifully. It wasn't the airplane. Um, you can see I did a little nose mod, a little droop nose mod action there. But we tumbled it, rolled it, flipped it, hit the ground with it a bunch of times. Not due to the airplane, cracked the fuselage in half. Came out of the ground straight into the ground and, and, and we just glued it back and, and it just kept flying. It was kind of like the Terminator. It just kept going. So nothing to say with the airplane really. It was just we had some wind. We were tired from mowing. We flew it anyway, and uh, you know I dumped it in the ground a bunch of times. But, but like like uh, you know, takes a lick and keeps on ticking. It just keeps going. Same grab rail under here, really nice. So again, this entire series of plane is available over at Hobby Zone. Again, guys, I'll put links below. Uh, so if you guys want to get one of these, it does support the channel if you use our link. We do appreciate that. When I get the flight demo out of this, I'll put it in the upper right hand corner. I'll put a link to it right here, so you can click on it. Probably will put a link below to it as well. Um, and if you guys like the content that we're showing you here, trying to give you as much info, good detail as we can, um, you know, please share our videos around. That definitely does help us out. We'll be flying this at the uh, RC Informer uh, field here really, really soon. Man, I like that underside. That really looks good. But uh, anyway, please share our videos. We do appreciate that. And also, guys, if you want more content, content like this, be sure to um, like the video. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. It'll alert you when we put out new stuff like this. So. Real impressed with this, guys. Uh, real impressed with this overall. Again, Avanti S, officially a licensed over there at uh, Hobby Zone with her Arrows, Brown, uh, Arrows brand. Um, just super, super nice. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching our channel. And as always, we'll see you all next time.